if you were to hide a large mammal, this is where you would hide it because nobody's going there for fun. At the very southern tip of South America, off the coast of Cape Horn in Chile, a team of researchers is charging through the world's roughest seas in search of an elusive killer whale. We had 60 knot winds and 10 metre swells and it was hard to get a break to find, to get out there and look for them, let alone find them. This is what they're looking for, a mysterious sea creature that's baffled scientists for decades. They call it the Type D. There was a stranding of killer whales in New Zealand in 1955 and these killer whales looked really strange, so completely different to other killer whales around the world. They had a weird blunt head, they had a tiny white eye patch and they had these really thin felcate dorsal fins. Fast forward more than 60 years and six international scientists, including Perth's Beck Wellard, are putting their lives on the line to prove its existence. Their search has been spurred on following reports from Chilean fishermen of a weird-looking whale in these rough seas. It got to a point we only had one more day left to go find these killer whales. Uh, we'd exhausted all the areas that we could look for, but we thought, all right, we'll give it one more go. Then that morning, their patience finally paid off. I was woken up by people screaming out the corridor and running down from the bridge, type D, type D. So all of us ran up the top in our pyjamas and, and there they were. A pod of 25 killer whales these researchers believe to be a whole new species, potentially the greatest breakthrough to happen in the animal world in recent years. We learnt so much more from them. It was one of the highlights of my life to this day, to be able to be one of the first scientists to find these killer whales and work with them. After collecting vital data, the team will now study this killer whale's DNA to determine once and for all whether or not it is a new species. We don't know if it's a new species or not yet, but if it is, that would be a huge discovery for science and it's probably every researcher's dream.